Sex workers, what is the saddest experience you've had while on the job? I've worked as a dominatrix and as an escort, and my saddest experience was one of my submissives. I saw this client a few times. He was morbidly obese but very intelligent, funny and had a successful career. He was heavily into receiving pain and our sessions were on the more extreme end. Afterwards he'd want to cuddle and chat and laugh. One day, after our session he told me he was finally retiring and going to solo travel and have some experiences. Not long after, a co-worker who was a friend of a friend of him outside of work told me he had passed away. Based on the timeline I doubt he ended up vacationing. I've had other clients who were depressed, in bad marriages, or unhappy with their lives, but he was the only client that I'd known to have passed away, and under such sad circumstances. A husband and wife booked me for a threesome, because having a lesbian experience was on her bucket list. She'd recently recovered from a double mastectomy and had just been diagnosed with a terminal brain tumor, despite undergoing chemotherapy. In a private, fully clothed, moment between the husband and I, he told me she doesn't have long left. And the way they looked at each other was so beautiful. Just pure love. I worked as an escort for about a year and a half. I had a regular client with a number of mental health issues in his mid-30s. He was an Asian guy whose family didn't believe in mental illness. He wouldn't socialize with anyone except for his family. He had a mental breakdown a year prior and had to quit his job. He had to sell his house and move back in with his parents. He had never had sex with anyone who wasn't a prostitute. He had never been on a date with a woman or had any female friends. He would book overnight appointments with me and we wouldn't even have sex, he just wanted the company. That's $3,500 he was paying for a sleepover with me. All he would ever want to do was talk and cuddle. He once told me I was his best friend, and how sad that was considering he had to pay me, and if there was no payment, I wouldn't even be there. Broke my heart. I cared for him very much, and still think of him from time to time. I had a few clients in my hometown and neighboring city. They were somewhat older, more career accomplished women who wanted discreet companionship. Most of them just wanted to cuddle and talk or listen to music and lay with me. Some liked drugs, almost all of them liked wine. All of them were lonely. One of my clients was constantly out at parties or business functions, very social and successful and would contact me after. On Christmas one year she told me that she was previously married, her husband started her business with her before he died. She told me she lived the happiest life with him but that it was too short. I think she was looking for a similar replacement for her husband but nobody lived up to the guy. Relationships are hard and then we die. I had a guy I gave a few lap dances to. His buddy took him out because he just got divorced. His wife was the one who left him. He was crying. I tried to give him a pep talk. Most of the time I spent was holding him. I obviously wasn't helping much. A stripper doesn't even come close to replacing your wife of 20 years, especially when you've never been with anyone else. Duck. I almost cried too. I was a dancer in college for girls in gay clubs. Never did anything private but would sit with generous customers. Most of the time I just tuned out whatever they were saying. Had one older guy that always wanted to talk and always said I reminded him of his ex-boyfriend. I'm straight and honestly probably not the nicest dancer in the club but he wasn't creepy. He brought in a bunch of photos of him with his BF that were around 30 years old and the guy looked like he could be my brother. The patron had married a woman, had a family and lived a straight life in public. His wife had left him and his kids wanted nothing to do with him all he ever did was talk about his BF that had died shortly after he was married. He was so full of regret for not spending time with his BF. It was just painful. He never proposed anything else, was always super respectful and generous, I genuinely felt bad for the guy. Not my story but I knew a girl who did Ren and I type of stuff. Guy asks her if she could come over. Doesn't talk about sex over the phone just if she could come over and to come hungry. She thinks he is into feeding or some shit she arrives at like 6pm pretty early for her work she asks what he would like to do. He just cooks for her. A really big delicious meal later he starts to open up a but his wife had passed and always loved his cooking, but he hates cooking for himself. He had a spinal injury and was basically trapped in his body. Could barely speak and move. His mother booked me. I was told I'm going to be the last person he had sex with since he was planning on euthanasia later that year. We held each other and cried afterwards. When I left his room his mother hugged me and cried. I couldn't accept payment for that one. 
She sent me a diamond necklace a week later with a note saying he'd passed. A guy literally crying about how lonely he was. We didn't even have sex, he just wanted to hang out. He was a really nice guy but I had to cut off contact after that one encounter because he had the idea that he was going to save me from drugs and prostitution and wife me up or something. I felt horrible. I used to be a sex cam worker, I had a regular client who always paid for private time with me. Nothing really did anything sexual for him, he wanted me to dress as a happy housewife and tell him what would be for dinner, how are the two dogs and cat, imaginary, doing? What were their names? He would tell me we lived in Italy, I forgot where but he described to me a large house with a pool and all. He pretty much would just fantasy play house with me. I would get really into it and he would always visit me every day. He was just a very lonely man and seemed to crave for some human affection and interaction. I felt bad when I just dropped out of the job without warning. I do think about him from time to time, I hope he managed to live his best life. My first day stripping a dude took me upstairs for dances and when I started dancing he abruptly was like stop I just want to hug you. So I sat next to him and he hugged me for 5 songs straight. It was the most awkward shit, I just kinda patted him on the back the whole time. Attractive, young guy comes in, obviously a college student. Paid me the bare minimum, $40, for private time and then tried to talk me into extras way above that pay grade. In particular. He kept talking about how attractive he was and how really, I should feel lucky to have a customer like him. I found it really pathetic. Honestly, this guy could have picked a girl up at a bar for the cost of a couple beers. The fact that he was paying $40 to get turned down by a sex worker instead was pretty sad. I'm a stripper and the amount of guys who want to take me home because we have a special connection is really starting to baffle me. Like, how do they not comprehend that I'm working as I flirt with them? Maybe I should start being less friendly because it's starting to get aggravating. I had to tell a customer I was leaving for the night just to get him to leave me alone. Fellas, don't go to a strip club if you fall in love easily. Not a sex worker per se but I do moderate one. We had some guy come in with some clearly evident developmental problems, which at first only seemed a little off. He eventually started begging her to be his girlfriend, talking about how they would get married and how wonderful it would be. It got really weird really fast. Not only does that girl have a boyfriend already, which she stated, but that didn't stop him. It's a cam site for duck's sake, and not some dating app. However, I wound up feeling more bad for the guy than upset with him. Morning shift at the strip club, 10 a.m., had a few old guys at my stage. One was just openly sobbing. I stopped dancing and asked him what was wrong and he just bubbled out that his wife had just died. Like. 10 minutes ago. He left the hospital and came straight to the strip club to cry. Not me, but my ex-boyfriend was a sex worker for the first half of our relationship. Aside from his relationship with me, the last client he saw was one of the tipping points to motivate him to stop. He was back home visiting his family and decided to respond to someone's post. When he shows up, it's his grade school music teacher. My ex was slash is quite the piano prodigy, so he said that when he walked in, the teacher's face was just pure sadness and disappointment as my ex was one of his favorite students. They ended up not doing anything sexual, and the two of them had a lovely conversation catching up on where their lives had taken them. At this point, my ex was a senior in college. After they finished talking, the man had my ex play the piano for him in his home. He said that after that moment, he just couldn't handle the shame anymore. Ex sex worker here. This story is from over a decade ago when I was 17. I was using Craigslist and a guy had me come to his trailer in a trailer park. He had won $100,000 in a scratch off. He had a pipe and asked if I wanted a hit. I assumed it was weed and took a hit, but as I exhaled I realized how wrong I was. It was the first time I ever tried crack. He was extremely rough, and broke two of my ribs, but gave me $1,500 to cover hospital expenses. The sad part is that I went back to see him three times, whenever I was desperate. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.